fall is here and that means hunting season is as well. There are a lot of rules you need to know about hunting and a few things everybody should know before going out. Here to talk about it is Jay Shirley, a law enforcement captain with the Division of Wildlife Resources. Thanks so much for being here, Captain. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Glad yeah. to be here. So can we start with what are some of the more common mistakes that you see people making as they go out to hunt? So most of what our officers deal with on a daily basis is license violations. People either forgetting their license, they're hunting in a wrong unit or don't have a fishing license or mm -hmm. don't know those regulations. So okay. there's really the options for them to be able to get that information is there. They just need to be prepared prior to going out. And that's a good, a good reminder for equipment use. I mean, the weather's going to change. We've got yeah. our muzzleloader deer hunt going and people need to be prepared before they go out. Make sure they have the proper permits, licenses, know the hunting boundaries, mm -hmm. those kind of problems. Got it, okay. I was, I was reading an article, it, it sounds like there's also an issue just making sure that people are, are shooting the correct number of animals. Yeah. Enforcing that is something that, is that something you guys tackle? Yeah, we do. So what we encourage people to do is make sure they know what their target is mm -hmm. and what's behind their target. Okay. That's where we see those, I mean, basic hunter education things, but in the heat of the moment and the excitement of the moment, sometimes people forget that. Right. So it is, and if you do make that honest mistake, we, we need you to give us a call. Don't okay. compound the problem. So, so be upfront about it. Make sure that law enforcement be in the area knows, knows what's happened, what is going on. Absolutely. So what, I mean, what are the ramifications if someone does have a, a violation like that? What do you see normally? So most of the violations that we deal with are just held or handled criminally through the court process. If there is egregious circumstances where somebody knowingly and intentionally violates our laws, then there can be a suspension process where they could potentially lose those privileges to hunt and fish in this state. And that's also upheld in 49 of the other states that you would lose those privileges to hunt and fish. Got it. Interesting. So if you lose your privileges here, you can lose them everywhere. Yes. Important to make sure that you're following the rules then. Exactly. So where do you recommend people go for, I mean, all the information that they need? So our website, uh, wildlife.utah.gov, has great information. All of your guidebooks have the information that you need. They're online. You can also download the DWR app and you can access the information there. You can also download your licenses on that app. That's a good way to not Perfect. forget them. So, uh, and then if you do see a violation or come in that, have that circumstance come up, you can call our UTIP hotline. UTIP hotline. Yes. Okay, perfect. Kay. Captain Jay Shirley, thanks so much for being here this morning. As always, you can find that information as well online, abc4.com slash GMU. Brian.